Hello, my name's Mac. I'm a mathematics teacher. Ah, not really. I work in a lumber yard. It's a place where you have to make your own fun. And this is a little bit of fun I had the other day. I like Miami International Airport's arrivals hall. Uh, so <laughs> it's just all the balloons I love. Over there. I also like this robot. We come in peace. Do not harm us, we're only human. Hello. No way. That's mad. Oh, we're back again at Windcliffe Quarry. And while it started out wet, Tried out eventually. I was there with these guys. What's your name? <laughs> What's your subject? I'm doing maths. Philippa doing biology. Lovely. Barra. Bio. Oh, sorry. Biochem. I bother you when you're not busy. What's your name? Me. Yeah. Oh, Inca. What's your subject? Biology. What's your name? Kate. What's your subject? Well, it was physics. Physics? Oh, you dumb. I put my phone, sorry. It's okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's consult the guidebook. And then we're off to the races. Going up there. So wet. Yeah, it's just so okay. Even though it's wet, Kate doesn't give up. But she only came down to get untwisted, and then she carried on climbing. Dina, who's from Canada, told me earlier on in the day something very disappointing. My favourite outdoor company, Mountain Equipment Co-op, was no longer Mountain Equipment Co-op. So does MEC now stand for Mountain Equipment Company? Sorry? Does it stand for Mountain Equipment Company now, MEC? It's no longer a co-op. Yeah, it's company. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. Just like to say, nice bridging, Kate. Oh, even Van Damme would be proud nice of that. Bridging. Professional finger in the, uh, in the lens. There we go. Oh.
even with going down a bit earlier to try and untangle herself, even with that awesome bridging, Kate's getting too tangled. And it's impeding her progress. <laughs> Sometimes safety just takes precedence. Thankfully, the rope's now untangled. And Mirren's going to give this route a go. Well, the camera microphone might pick up the cars. You don't notice them that much when you're here. You can often hear the birds all around. It's quite lovely. Well, Mirren's doing a great job getting up here. Mirren's just about to get to the hideously wet, slimy part. And while I'm boring Barra with brewing yeasts, Mirren's not having fun by any stretch of the imagination. A valiant attempt, that's for sure. Meanwhile, Baron and I went off to the left edge of the top tier and we had a go at Canine Crack, a 5B. Fear not, I may be bee laying, but I still have my coffee on me. Oh. Barra is leading this route, so I fast forwarded the clipping in stages. Oh, no. 
I don't think there is one that seems to me like no one can have a job in this one. Do you see what I mean? No cars? It's quite lovely. Oh, here's a car. Barra is from the Czech Republic and she has her own tale to tell about Brexit. She got accepted to go to Oxford University, saved up the money for that and then Brexit happened and with that the cost of international students rather than European students went up and so all the money that she'd saved wasn't enough. As you can see from her climbing though, she's very resourceful. And so she didn't let this slight hiccup, slight hiccup, she didn't let it affect her. She put together a video of her plight and posted it on social media. And you know what? It went viral. And then she was all over the media and the good people of the Czech Republic, they put their hands in their pockets they started a GoFundMe or something similar. And she got the money to go to Oxford University. Good on her. Evie's doing a route that I don't think any of us found out the name of. It's the one that's all wet and slimy up there. Let's see if she can do it though. And watching this back, I'm kind of worried that she's going to get her foot caught in that sling that's dangling. Luckily she doesn't.
Sometimes when it's really slimy, you gotta use your head. Maybe the rope. The thing is, this route had to be stripped. So you can either be a climbing purist and leave some equipment on the rock face for the next climber to find and benefit from, or you go out of your way and you get everything back. And that's just what Evie's doing. Evie stripped the anchor and got every bit of equipment back. Fantastic. What do you do when you look up and realize there's a camera pointing right at your face? What more can you do? Just give it a smile. I'm back on canine crack your humble narrator. Oh, that's a high foot for me. No, we're not at the Isle of Man with TT races, but this is a spot the motorcyclists like to pass through. Lots of twists and turns and beautiful scenery.
in staring at the screen for hours and hours, minutes, it strikes me there's kind of an optical illusion. It's almost like there's a split screen and down the left hand side of the screen you're looking up a rock face and on the right hand side of the screen you're looking down a rock face. Could be anyway. Is it just my mind? Maybe it's just my mind. Yeah, I had to go. Yeah, I had to go to the right. Okay, that's me. Right. Oh, this is. I didn't get to the film. Ah, in state. Brilliant. I could be sat watching the TV, or I could be stood looking at this. I know which I'd rather. I'm not showing you these false starts to embarrass Evie, quite the opposite. It just shows how hard a start this route was and how creative Evie is. The sheer grit and determination that Evie shows here, that impresses me no end. That was the most. Oh, that was the most creative. I thought it was amazing. Lack of technical 
<laughs> yeah, but in trying everything, you'll you'll figure out something that works. I truly mean that. Back in the day, one of my favourite skaters was this guy, Mike Vallely. He wasn't the most polished of skaters, but he was exciting to watch. I mean, look at this. Oh, what a recovery. And this. Craziness. Only inspired loads and loads of people to wear these. Fools. Watching Evie climb is like watching Mike Vallely skate. It's exciting. I mean, if, if I'd have seen someone go up there and do it flawlessly, and just perfect moves, it would make it look easy. I and mean, it wouldn't be half as interesting. I applaud Evie's climbing style. I also applaud her never give up ethos. That's gonna get her far in life. Man, that sequence there, so inspiring. Nice. And with that excellent climb, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. It's very much appreciated. If you could leave a comment, that would be nice. And if you haven't subscribed, Maybe do that too. But know this, there'll be more videos out next week. And while there won't be such a lovely view as this, there will be plenty to keep you entertained. Look at that mist over the valley and the bridge. It's very otherworldly. Thanks for keeping us company, Robin. 
And I like to think that that's Robin with a Y. And while we make our way home, I marvel at the amount I actually climbed this day. It's the most I've climbed on, a, on an Oxford University mountaineering trip. Mountaineering club. Onto the road that makes all that noise. But it's a lot, a lot less inclined. And across this bridge, the Seven Bridge, back into England. And home. Stop there a minute, mate. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Yeah, go on. Do you do your pecking thing? The wood, it's in your name. Go on. Peck it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>